So in the previous video, we went over how to build your energy pyramid. Now we need to talk about the flow of energy through the energy pyramid. So you can see that your primary producers get their energy directly from the sun. And then your primary consumer is going to consume your producers. Then your secondary consumers are going to eat your primary consumers. They're going to get their energy from the primary consumers. Then your tertiary consumers, they can eat both your secondary and primary consumers. Um, they don't always, but they can. Okay. And then if we have an apex predator, he can eat at several levels many times, uh, but he has no one that's going to get energy from him. And remember, your energy pyramid may stop at the tertiary consumer. It depends on what food chain you are looking at. Now our energy moves from the bottom up to the top. And there is a rule for energy when you're looking at an energy pyramid. It's called the 10% rule. This 10% rule means that only 10% of the original amount of energy is going to be passed to each level. So for instance, if I have, let's say 10,000 kilocalories, which we'll say kcal of energy here at my producer's level, only 10% of that energy is going to be passed on to my grasshoppers. So when my grasshopper consumes the grasses, it's only going to receive 1,000 kilocalories of energy. Then when my hornbill consumes the grasshopper, they're only receiving 100 kilocalories. And it keeps going. The baboon is only going to get 10 kilocalories. And finally, my lion would get one kilocalorie. Now, even though when you're looking at energy pyramids, the numbers may change, the rule stays the same. Only 10% is being passed to each level. So um, why would be the next thing. Why is only 10% traveling to each level? Well, when you consume, say for you, you for instance, when you consume food, you go run around and you play or you need to digest your food, you're going to get hot. So some of that energy is being lost as heat. This takes us back to the idea of the law of thermal, thermodynamics. If you remember the law of conservation of energy, energy cannot be created or destroyed. You cannot create new energy. It can, though, be transformed between different forms of energy. So while digesting your food may be chemical, you can also lose some of that energy as heat to the environment as your grasshopper is hopping around or as the hornbill is hunting for his food. So 90% of that energy is lost to the environment, but 10% passes to the next level. So your primary producers always have the greatest amount of energy and your um, apex or tertiary consumers here at the top are going to have the least amount of energy. It loses energy as you go up. And you can remember that by remembering that the bottom of your pyramid is always larger. So, of course, you're going to have a larger amount of energy. And your the top of your pyramid is going to have less energy.